We've never actually met. Amena. I'll walk you home. Sorry, I'm not good at this. Maybe we could just be friends. Emma is insecure, nerdy, witty. I'm a disaster. Listen, nothing truly good was ever easy. Who said that? You did. Did I? That's annoying. I loved her, I related to her, and I loved the story of her and Dex and their friendship and how all these unexpected things happened throughout it. Well, everyone's lost at 25. You're not. TV producer, nice new flat, group sex Tuesdays and Fridays. Yeah, but you know, I am crying on the inside. She has such a rich soul and has such a great heart and such backbone. I think we need some rules. Rules? No flirting. No skinny dipping. I wonder how many rules we broke. All of them. She's just, she's real. And that just somehow makes her more likable. This is scooped a bit low. Mm -hmm. Good job I didn't put it on backwards. Working with Annie's been amazing. And there's a lot of him and Molly and Annie. When we were at university, I had a crush on you. Well, then, what happened? I got to know you. Mm. <laughs> You cured me of you. I recognized a lot of myself in that. I think a lot of people do when they read the book. Have you seen her in the morning? Right under our noses all this time, eh? Who knew? It's been really fantastic seeing Anne take on this role. I've got a tiny advance to write this book. Em? I think Anne has the vulnerability and the wit and the warmth that Emma needs. You even look like a writer. There's a word for this. Uh, butch. Honestly, it's hard for me now to imagine any other Emma. And she cares a lot about the project, and she cares so deeply about Emma and the story and these characters. And it's just, it's infectious, really. If you're lucky, you can find a story that moves you. If you're lucky, you can find a character that speaks to you. And with one day, I found both. Whatever happens tomorrow, we had today. I'll always remember it. <laughs>